what am I going to share with you today in my cooking session? Well, look at it. This is the red beans. So I'm making one of my favorite foods, which is the red bean soup. Of course, you have the red beans. And this is the tangerine peel, which we purchased and it's imported from China. And we have the lump sugar, which is crystal sugar and which is healthy for cooking and eating. So these are the basic ingredients we need. Three ingredients, red beans, tangerine peel, and also the so-called, what you have here is the crystal lump sugar. And this is my pressure cooker. First time I'm using it for my cooking session. It's a very safe device because it has a lock device and it will not open if you have not uh, unlocked without the pressure. So it's actually safe for use. And it can actually boil red bean soup. Traditionally, what happens with red bean soup is that it takes about, uh, you have to soak the red beans for about overnight so that the beans are a bit soft and you need to boil it for about three hours then before you get the red bean soup. But with the pressure cooker, you don't have to do that. All you do is wash the red beans, put it in the air pressure cooker, add water, in this case, I'm adding about maybe three to five times water. It depends on how you like your red beans, whether you like it with a very soupy, watery type, or whether you want it to be with a very creamy type. So I'm adding the water in before we start boiling the soup. and this should be the last bowl of water right so before I start closing the lid and letting it boil under the air pressure that's the red bean with the water in the little pot that's provided and there are various uh, what do you call constro controls at the top so you can actually set it to whether you want to slow cook or pressure cook or you want to do certain timings like beans yeah, it's up to you so it's quite good it's quite useful so I'm starting it and I'm letting it go I've selected uh, risotto and rice. I mean, I'm just testing out how it will turn out the uh, red beans with the setting. It looks like it's going and the pressure is building up. Ah, I've adjusted the focus so now you can see the running of the uh, meter. It says basically the first one is the lid is locked and that is a security and then now its pressure is building up so because of the pressure in the cooker it actually cooks the red beans about uh, five times faster than the normal which is about three two three hours now it's about half an hour you can actually get it done so it takes a little bit of time to build up the pressure in the cooker so that's a safety device Now you can see the temperature, the pressure is building up to about 49.50. So you, that's the pressure that will be building up and which the cooking will be under. And you can see the time is about 14 minutes. The pressure is fluctuating a bit. So it's basically following the setting that I've chosen which is uh, risotto rice and we can actually see that it is 
automatically cooking it according to the time and the pressure. So it's actually very very simple. You don't have to do very much. You just need to select what type of cooking you want and the pressure cooker will actually select the time and the pressure by itself. Or of course you can always change the time or the pressure. It depends on you but normally I would change if I do is the time. So the time for the red beans, the normal time should be about 30 minutes. So you can see whether you like it to be a bit more soft or a bit more hard. It depends on you. So you can try and test and see what you like. I do like it a little bit harder where you can actually taste the red beans rather than when the red beans are all uh, dissolved and boiled so it's soft and becomes a kind of paste. Now it's running up to maintain. Basically it's trying to maintain the pressure uh, in the cooker and it's already running down the time to about 6 minutes now. 6 minutes left. So it's really very convenient. I mean in terms of time saving and also the convenience. It's a well it's not a very big device so it's quite comfortable on your table and you can do other functions with it besides uh, using it to boil soup which is good because you can reduce your time to boil soups. You can also do cooking, which I will try and do in my next cooking session. Try and do some cooking and maybe some uh, casserole, it depends, or maybe something for the 4th of July, which is coming out. American Independence Day, so I wonder what I can cook to celebrate the occasion. It's okay, it's just one minute left. And now the pressure is down to about 31 kPa. It's so good because it really knows how to regulate everything by itself and it's secure because the lid is locked and safe. So the time is running down. I think it's basically ready. Just I'm just letting the pressure release itself before I open up the cover. So that is also a security feature in that it will not allow you to open the cover or the lock when the pressure is not zero yet. So it's basically a very, very uh, secure and safe device to use. And think of all the time you will save when you are really boiling soup or somebody in the family likes soup and after a hard day's work, you want to cook soup. And well, with this pressure cooker, you can cook it in about half an hour rather than some of those may, may take two, three hours, and you need to look after the how much the fire, how temp, how much the temperature is. So this one really makes it a very, very easy task. See the air, pr the pressure is actually running down from just now about thirty plus to twenty to twenty one. It's actually slowly releasing the pressure, so you can hear the air pressure coming out. And you can also smell the fragrance of the red beans. So it's going down to 10, 11 now. It's such a good and useful device. Now it's going to, to 8 or 9. And soon it will be able to release the cover. When you close the lid, and you, know, you can feel the pressure, you can hear the pressure, the sound of pressure being sealed in a cover. Now it's down to 6 7, 6 7. That's the pressure. Now it's down to 3, 2, 3, 2. One. 
so you don't have to watch it but you can actually hear the sound of the beeping once the air pressure has been released so basically it's just uh, I'm just watching it so that you can just see what's happening So what happens after this once it has reached the time or the point where all the pressure has been released it will keep warm which is basically that the pressure is no longer built up but you will still keep your cooking warm for you in case you may be away from your pressure cooker and you will keep your soup or your cook food that yeah, you have cooked warm for you until you switch it off. Okay, now it's going to zero 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 zero, and actually the meter is saying that it is now keep warm. So you can see the little red light on the left hand side blinking. That is the keep warm. So basically, it's keeping your cooked food warm until you take it out or have your dinner or have your lunch. Okay, I've opened the cover can see so the nine is actually the number of minutes that the what they call the uh, red beans have been on keep warm I've just added the tangerine peel and the crystal sugar so that's basically normally I add it in at the end so it doesn't really overcook the tangerine peel and it gives the time for the crystal sugar to dissolve and gives you a slight sweet taste 